Hi everybody, I'm Bruce Sweeney, the founder of Simply for Life, and today on Body Check, one assessment we're going to do has to do with omega-3 fats deficiency. You know, just recently, uh, they were showcasing that most adults, 68% are not consuming enough omega-3 fats, and children, 95%. So I'm going to tell you why it's important, but first, your assignment and your self-check today, what we're going to do is... One of the things you want to look at, do I have fatigue? Do I have like kind of fatigue that's 24 seven, I'm not burned out, but that kind of lingering fatigue. And also if you feel that you're kind of forgetful, you're forgetting things uh, more than usual, you're forgetting your keys on the counters. These are small example for whatever reason. And if you have dry skin and hair, obviously I have to bypass that test with my hair, but if you find you have dry skin and hair, and most of all, if you have <laughs> mood swings, you know, it's not the time of the month, you're not taking any hormones, you're not pre-menopause, uh, so forth, so on. You just have these mood swings occasionally for no reason at all. And one of the things I know for sure is that over the last 25 years of practice, if you do have slight depression, you're just kind of feeling down, beautiful day, it's not winter, but you're just kind of feeling a little bit down for no reason at all, uh, it could be definitely uh, a sign that you had def deficiency in omega-3 fats. Now, why it's important? Because it can lead to poor circulations. Now, poor circulations for men, it could be erectile dysfunction. For most of all, it could be poor healing. But why it's so important is because it can lead to heart problems, heart arrhythmia, hypertension, angina, cardiovascular disease. It also is uh, directly correlated with fatty liver. Very, very important. We know the explosion of liver disease right now. So omega-3 fats are extremely protective. And believe it or not, it's also beneficial for allergies. So I'm going to put this in big because most of the research has been done on omega-3 fats. It's an inflammation. There's over 3,400 citations on PubMed just on inflammation alone. Also, lots of research, tons of research going on on ADHD and poor concentration with kids. So obviously with 95% of children not consuming enough omega-3 fats, it's a root of concern. So I'm going to tell you uh, right now where to get the best source of omega-3 fats. I've always been a big fan of salmon. Of course, I'm a bigger fan of wild salmon, but it contains huge amount of omega-3 fats. Now, don't shoot the messenger. I'm also a big fan of sardines. Here, occasionally, I eat my sardines. I'm old schools, but they have a really good source and well-balanced omega-3 fats. We're talking EPA, DHA mackerel also and cod liver now if you're saying this is too much for me i'd rather take it in supplement form uh, of course we take our omega-3 fats home clinin and i but what we've always done is on the days that we consume fatty fish we don't consume omega-3 fats from supplement form so the rule of thumb i've always told my clients consume at least four times a week fatty fish. For us, if we're traveling, we don't have access to good quality fish, we will bring omega-3 fats with us. So rule of thumb, if you're suffering from light depression, memory, skin, any of those symptoms, or uh, anything you can relate to, I suggest three grams of omega-3 fats a day. And what you need to know is that omega-3 fats takes time to replenish. So it takes about two to six months to restore your omega-3 fats level. So you can start feeling better, uh, less memory loss, your skin. But most of all, omega-3 fats are so critically important for inflammation. We know that inflammation is correlated to 95% of all disease out there. So now you know the difference, you know where to consume it. I always suggest to take omega-3 fats from animal-based source. You know, you can still get omega-3 fats from flaxseed and uh, uh, walnuts, for example, but the long fatty acids we're looking for, uh, it's poorly converted. So try to get it from a fatty fish or animal source. There you go, folks, on body checks. Now you know the importance of omega-3 fats. And I want to wish you all a very good day. Bye now.